Gloucestershire City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. Good day and sweaty cab. Well, today at the Expat Club, we were privileged to get a wonderful talk on hypertension on World Hypertension Day. And Dr. Chirapan is here and he gave, look, if you value your life and your health, you're going to listen to this talk, right? Yes. And what do you think, name three things you'd like people to t most take away from your talk today, the th three big takeaways. Uh, so the first thing is, the high blood pressure or hypertension is a silent killer. As I mentioned many times during the talk, that when you have high blood pressure or hypertension, sometimes it doesn't cause any complaint. Mm -hmm. So you have to be aware that you have high blood pressure under control if you're taking medication or if you have risk factor that can increase your blood pressure, you should have your blood pressure measurement per, li per li or the collie. So one of the things he said, uh, and I, I know a couple of people are going to go out and get, we used to call them sphigma monitors, but you know, high blood pressure testing kits so that they can test themselves at home. And that's a really good idea. Yes, yes, sure, because as you uh, know that the recommendation about uh, treating the patient with high blood pressure or to take care of your health condition is to keep an eye on your blood pressure. To know that you have a high blood pressure or your blood pressure is still acceptable, you need measurement. And we recommend you to have the home blood pressure measurement because it gives the doctor quite most important information about your blood pressure at home. Yeah, because it can be the white coat phenomenon where yes. people see a doctor coming or a nurse or whatever, and they think, yes. oh, and, that, and that increases their blood pressure. Yeah, that's true, because if you have white coat hypertension and you don't know, or your doctor don't know that you have this condition, and the doctor can increase your blood pressure medication, because they, can, they, saw, they see that your blood pressure is high in that clinic. But when you get home and you take that medication, it will bring, bring, bring down your blood pressure too low and you can cause symptoms or can be, and can cause side effects from the medication. Yeah, and right after the talk, I was talking to someone and he said, wow, that's a fantastic talk. And he said, you know, the, the best thing I learned was this idea of, you know, don't just take one measurement, take three. That's right, because, uh, as you know, when you measure your blood pressure, you have to be sure that you have the right or uh, correct measurement. To doing that, uh, you have to sit comfortably five minutes and you measure your blood pressure. You, you should discard the first one because you can be quite excited and then you have high blood pressure. It, it gives wrong information. And do, you do the next two blood pressure measurements and do evaluate the two. And you can make it one or two minutes apart. That will give quite correct uh, information. That's a fantastic tip. So if you've got any, maybe if you're taking just about any, lots of medications can affect your blood pressure, right? Yes. Uh, if you're taking some medication, like you're taking painkiller medication or some medication like anti-inflammation medication that can increase your blood pressure or some herbal medication, mm. especially high herbal medication. Mm. Sometimes we don't know they can have some medication or some substances inside that medication that can help uh, make your blood pressure high. Mm. And uh, so that, that was, what other things do you want the people to take away from today? Very, um, the most important takeaways. So I think uh, prevention is better than treatment. You have to be, be aware and be conscious about your lifestyle because the, uh, the high, high blood pressure can be preventable. Mm. Yeah, like you're doing exercise, you eat less salt, if you smoke, you stop smoking. Mm. And you, you, if you are uh, doing alcohol, you drink it in moderation. Mm. That is the key. And the chart you put up on just how high a mortality rate worldwide comes from high, bl high blood pressure. Yeah, that's right, because from the study worldwide, we know that the high blood pressure incident is 
progressively increase, and that contribute to higher mortality globally. So we have to be aware of the patients who have high blood pressure because we know that 50% of them don't know that they have this condition. So if you're listening to this, there's a very high chance you have high blood pressure and you don't know it. So uh, is there a specific, it's something that is more likely as you grow older, correct? Uh, for alcohol? Uh, no, for, you know, as you get older, you're more likely to have oh, high, high blood pressure. Sorry, sorry. So, yeah, yeah, it's the aging process. We cannot prevent that because we're getting older every day. And, but we can know that if you have the blood pressure that need to be treated. Mm. If your, your blood pressure is getting high to some certain level and your doctor thinking that it, the, the level that unacceptable, you should have the blood pressure control. And one of the final tip, I had a friend who was on, certain categories of people are higher risk than others, correct? Yes. And this, this guy is from Afro-American background, which is a higher risk yes. level, correct? Yes. Yes. And he was on uh, medication for high blood pressure and he decided to take himself oh. off and had a very, very big stroke. So final thing is, you know, see your doctor. Yeah, that's right, because the doctor can give you uh, information about how to control your blood pressure. If you're taking medication, give you some information about your lifestyle modification. But if you don't have a high blood pressure themselves, they can give you some information to prevent it. So th this is the doctor, and he's from, of course, Bangkok Pattaya Hospital. And they've, you know, they have all sorts of tests, and you want to go in to the hospital and make sure you get a test if you've got any chance that you have high blood pressure at all. So on World Hypertension Day, huge thank you for a wonderful talk. You have to watch the talk.